everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here. I'm, I'm coming at you with an interesting video today. I'm out at one of my local shooting areas. In fact, I'm out north of one of my shooting areas. And I found an area out here that's full of trash. It's like a dump site. And it brought to my attention a good topic that I haven't really discussed in a while. And that's survival. And what my objective of the video today is, is I'm going to go show you some of this trash out here. And I'm going to point at certain things. I'm going to show you what I see in certain items and what they can be useful for in a survival scenario. So stay with me and we'll take a look and see what we can find. So let's take a look. Let me get the bear with the bear with the camera work here. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing, um, let me get this stick right here. I'm going to use this as a pointer. Okay, here's my pointer, right? So I don't want to touch a lot of this stuff right now. I'm not really in a survival scenario. First thing I see is this glass jar. And inside the glass jar, there's something inside. Now, those this glass jar happens to have a metal lid on it. And I don't know if you saw my emergency candle video, but that metal lid is perfect for putting a wick on. You know, there's another jar right there too, the same scenario. We can use those for candles, oil candles. Here's a broken piece of uh, bottle. This could be used as a bearing for the top of a bow and drill set. Um, you could use it for a cutting tool, just all kinds of things right here. This is just trash, right? Over here, let's take a look. Let's see what else we can find. So right here, we have a container. Look at that. String, cordage. That's a good find. In a survival situation, I mean, this string could be braided and made into different two or three ply. You know, you could eventually make rope out of this stuff. And that could get you, that could do a lot for you in a survival situation. So string and cordage is one of the biggest things that, that's useful in a scenario like that. Right here is a little metal can. You could use that for storage. You know, you could put, put fuel in there. You could use it for to make a stove out of. Just a lot of little scenarios. Paper. Obviously, we can burn that. Fire starter. Stuff like that. These bottles. Again, we can use those for uh, carrying water, things like that. Now these tapes. Remember these? These old tapes? Of course we can take out the tape and there's some more cordage right there we can use it as cordage. Over here just old CD cases. Um, these would be good for signaling. If you had a fire going and you wanted to put some of these on the fire it would create a big black smoke because of the plastic in it. Here's a pen. Does it work? We don't know. It'd be worth finding out though. More paper. There's fire starter there. Here's some cloth. Okay, that could be cordage. Containers. There's a little bit of water in there. So, I mean, in a survival situation, you know, I would probably drink that. These little cords. Here's an electrical cord. You can use that to tie up shelter. You can use it for cordage. All kinds of things there. Here's a an old record of the Beatles. Check that out. So you need some music, huh? <laughs> no, seriously, that record, we could probably use that for for some smoke because it's plastic related, just like this piece here. So you burn that, that's for signaling. Here's some more fire starter. The ball, there's a little bit of leather on there. You could make some hinges. You could also get possibly some cordage out of there. There's just so many things. Look at these old eight track tapes. Johnny Cash, who would throw him away? Man, that's probably some good music. Johnny Cash, one of my favorites. Here's another container. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. This uh, little bottle here, this would make a really nice little stove. It's an aluminum type bottle. That's a, actually a pretty good little find there. It'd make a nice stove. 
you know so I guess you know you're probably starting to get the hint of what I'm looking at here here's a purse obviously we could use that as a satchel to carry things who knows if there's anything inside nothing inside but you know this is a good scenario all these little toys and stuff I mean these are all cordage you could you know these clothes I know it sounds funny but in a survival situation if you needed something to put on you could probably wash this stuff and put it on if not that you could use it for shelter building these old aluminum cans of course there's many uses for those here's some little wood and stuff you could put on your fire there's another roll of thread there's more cordage for you just all kinds of stuff out here more paper and there you go with some fire starter here's some little pillow now I'm sure that uh, you know I'm calling it a pillow it looks like it's a little seal or something but the point that I'm trying to make is if you took that apart you might be able to use the stuff inside as tinder possibly New England Patriots pillow and again maybe inside there might be some tinder in there here's an old container this would be excellent for water Just all kinds of stuff here that you can find teddy bear he don't look too happy does he this could be used as a satchel that plastic if you burn that you're gonna make a lot of good smoke some cardboard that's a pretty good little piece of cardboard it's pretty well intact you could use that uh, as some of your shelter there's a lot of little plastic bags here you could burn those you could use them as containers if they if they still hold together this metal that's uh, useful for a lot of things you could use that to tie things together, make wick holders, all kinds of things. I'm just going through this little pile of trash, just kind of showing you what a survival mindset might look for. Here's some cordage, yeah, all this little cordage, twine. There's a lot of it. Of course, it would take a little bit of work to get it all together, but in a survival situation, you've got plenty of time. There's an old flashlight. I know you might think, wow, what are you really going to get out of that? Well, there's a chance that you might be able to get that parabolic lens out of it and use it as a fire starter. There's a spring in there. And again, you can burn the plastic and use the plastic as a, as a, uh, to make smoke for signaling. Little monkey. Again, inside of him, there might be some, uh, there might be some foam inside that could be used as tinder. All of this glass could be used as cutting tools. Got to be careful with that, but again, in a survival situation, there's a bunch of cutting tools. Now, there's tons and tons of containers. Now, here we go. We're starting to get into the cans, the metal cans. You know, you get enough, you get enough of these metal cans, then you can start thinking about making rocket stoves and, you know, backpacking stoves and things like that. These little metal cans are really good for that. Let's see, what else do we have? There's another pillow or something. Oh no, that's concrete. That's an old bag of concrete that got thrown out here whole. Cement. There's another container, a bunch of bottles, some more plastic to throw on the fire for signaling. Underwear, just all kinds of things out here. You might be able to use this, there's some cordage on there. That car seat for that baby car seat, you might be able to, I know it sounds funny, but you could probably strap that to your back and use it as a, as a device to carry things. almost like a backpack here's some number 10 cans those are perfect for making rocket stoves there's a plate eat your dinner 
course you'd have to clean it up. There's a container. Who knows if you could get into that or not. Old vacuum cleaner and another car seat. There's a, uh, a plastic five gallon paint bucket. It looks like that's broke. If it was together you could use it for water but it's not. Here's some fuel for your fire. All these plastics like I mentioned they can burn for signaling another soda can or beer can in that case you can make a stove out of it this little laundry basket here this could be really useful you could put things and carry it strap that to your back there's your backpack a lot of things a lot of uses on these items Gotta be careful when you're walking around in areas like this because you don't want to step on a nail. Go right through your shoe. Here's some tile. Looks like they may have done a remodel. You know, it might sound funny, but you could actually use that for some shingles. Need a table? Yeah, it's missing a leg, but in a survival scenario, there's a leg right there. Build that up and you have a table. Here's another container. All these bottles, they could be used to store water. I mean, you take them, take a trip down to the creek and you take some of these 40s with you, clean them at the creek, then you come back and you've got a bunch of water. Get lonely? <laughs> There's your teddy bear. No, I'm just kidding. You could use that for a lot of things. Tinder, pillow. Christmas time more wire now that, that those clothes lines or those uh, hangers those metal hangers are really good for tying things together and they're real strong you could fashion you know like if you had say you had a stick and you wanted to make a spear or something as a defensive weapon you could use that to connect the glass or whatever you're going to use to fasten the blunt object to your stick that would be very helpful. There's an old propane bottle. Those don't have too many uses, but uh, those you got to be real careful with because a lot of times they they have a little bit of pressure under them. Got to be real careful with those. There's another little satchel you could put things in. You know, and I know it sounds funny and. People might say, well, you know, a lot of this stuff ain't going to work, but, you know, in a survival scenario, you really have to think, you know, of the, the mindset of turning one person's trash into your treasure, because that's really all you have out there. Metal can, there's all kinds of things that you could use. Containers, there's all kinds of fuel out here, all kinds of cordage, all kinds of containers some carpet you could use that as part of the roof on your shelter or a windbreak here's another container it's got a little handle on it of course it would take some cleaning up this little pallet that I'm stepping on you could use that as part of your shelter use it for firewood I mean Looks like the control panel off of a microwave. Here's the tool, pre-made. Scraping tool right there, it's already made. So there you go, you already have that right there. Now all you gotta do is put it to use. You could use that as weapon, you could use that to skin something if you had to. That's actually a pretty good find in a survival situation. Again, there's some more carpet. That could be used as shelter, could be used as bedding. There's just so many uses for this stuff out here. It's, you know, a lot of people overlook a lot of this stuff. You know, this little deal right here. This little piece right here. It might sound funny, but that could be a plate. Clean it up and put your food on it. At least it gives you a barrier between your food and the ground. 
had a bunch of meat or something. Some wood. There's a little bit more of that carpet that you could use on your shelter. Here's some lattice. Lattice could be used for a lot of things. Now here's a good find. There's a rack out of a out of a refrigerator or something. Now that would be good because you could use that, throw that over a fire, burn a few times and get rid of that paint. There's your grill for cooking your meat. You know, you could cook your meat on that. If you wanted to make jerky, you could make your own smoker out of that. You just set your meat on that, keep the uh, flames off the meat, and let it sit over that smoke for a few hours, depending on how thick you cut your meat. So that's about it for this situation. But anyway, I just thought that you'd get a kick out of that survival situation, survival mindset, and maybe in the future when you get out and hopefully you never have to rely on that information, but if you ever do, hopefully you'll look at things much, much differently than you do right now. So again, I want to say thank you everybody for watching my videos. Please feel free as always to comment, subscribe, like, share, thumbs up, and happy holidays and we'll talk to you next time thanks again for watching bye bye